How's it going, folks? Mark Mellick from Solar World here, trying to keep you guys updated on all the projects we're doing here. So this was a uh, previous install out in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the original platform called for 60 solar panels, and it was up on top of a roof. The customer ended up selling their, uh, their wonderful home and um, brought the panels with. The previous customer didn't want to buy them. Don't blame them. They're still paying for them. Why not use them, right? Uh, we came out here and built a ground mount custom uh, racking system. Uh, there are only 54 in this chain. Um, this is our standard welded frame constructed box two, you know, blah, 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 all that jazz, just like all the other previous videos. The uh, panels were probably in operations, I estimated, around six or seven years. There are some damaged ones. This wasn't from us. Uh, during their transport, when they got it here, I got through a hailstorm and a couple other seasons, so they sat out for about a year and a half before we finally came out here. As you can see, uh, we had to expand to a fourth row, so we ended up putting a, um, a support beam header type uh, design right there, pretty much uh, spanning this. Trying to keep everything uh, cost effective and pretty standard. So the box tube that we're using up here is one and a half by one and a half, and this is a, a three by three. So it's only two chunks of material and you're able to get away with pretty much doing what we're doing here we did not hook these up these will be disconnected completely they're just sitting here for right now as you can see there's still dirt up underneath the actual platform itself the uh, wiring configuration is kind of funny um the way that the panels are they're right here in the center uh so we weren't able to you know normally they'd be on the uh, ass end of the panel where we can kind of keep everything nice and clean. Uh, so we just did the best we could by keeping all the uh, wiring um, out of the way as much as possible. So uh, we did have a grand total of six lines of nine is what the configuration came up to at 54 panels. Uh, we used their original rapid shutdown system that they had right here. Came down into the conduit, trenched roughly about 220 feet all the way from end to end. This was a pain in the butt to get through. There was all kinds of rocks, debris, material, stuff like that. So, anywho, uh, little man sitting over there. Uh, just give me a second and I'll get to over there. So, coming to conclusion over here. Uh, as you can see, we trenched all the way from point A to point B. Um, we came up into this junction box here. So how this is wired up is you have the DC wiring coming into the main junction. This gets brought over to the actual inverter um, for all of its DC inputs, which is the main switch at the bottom here uh, for the rapid shutdown and stuff like that. Then the AC line has to come out and go to the bottom part of this meter. The top end power is coming in from the junction box of this. So main coming power from the, the meter itself has to go into the top end leg of this. Yeah, Outgoing power know. goes into the top end leg of this and so forth and so on. What's up little man? I know. That's the little moss right there. He's been operating the whole show. Uh, but anyways, uh, just in conclusion, this is a TVAC system. Um, we're very honored to be able to, to uh, uh, sustain the uh, the dream for solar and keep the progress going anyways this is just a grid tie system i'll keep you updated for all of our battery uh, battery backup and off-grid applications thank you god bless